Let's hope I do better this game around. The out asked the audience fa lifeline failed me twice last night. Let's try this again. Here we go. Let's see if I can do better this time around. It's now time for game four of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire for the PC Kids Edition. All right, here it is, your very first question. For $100, April Fool's Day is the traditional day to do which of these ac activities? C, play a prank. You're thinking C is style. Okay. Ooh, that's right. That's a nice one. That's $100. Now for 200 bucks, take a look at this. For 200 here it is. What type of restaurant would most likely serve tacos? That would be C, Mexican. You think answer C is pretty tight, don't you? It is tight, can I know it's right. sharp, that's correct. Hey, two questions, two hundred dollars. It's bound to be more than your allowance. And all you have to do to get another hundred is answer the next question correctly. For three hundred, here it is. <clears throat> Which is, what is the term for a place where people go to ice skate indoors? B rink. Is that like totally or final answer? Yes, Regis. Going with answer B for sure. Okay. You are wicked right. Three hundred dollars, and that'll buy you the video game machine you've always wanted, but you'll need some games too, right? You better check out your five hundred dollar question. This computer is the video game machine I always wanted. <laughs> what is the sequel to the popular computer game Mist? Hmm. Gonna have to ask the audience here. Uh oh. Well, the kids are pretty much in agreement here. Let's give you another fifteen seconds to mull it over. This broadcast will go. To, I'll go with a final answer. Yes! I almost got lost that time. Well, thank you. I wasted one lifeline, though. On the TV show Arthur, our. Arthur often says that in a perfect world, there would be no what? Oh, this question ticked me off a lot. Little sisters, C. Ready to commit to answer C already? Good. In a perfect world, there would be no little sisters. I guess in a perfect world, there would be school. <laughs> For $2,000. Alright, what name is given to the Girl Scouts who are in kindergarten? Daisies, Cadets, Bluebirds, Sprouts. Daisies, A, final answer. I remember my sister being a daisy. Move, move, you got it. Correct. That's two grand in your column and a chance to double it. All you gotta do is answer this next one right. Easy enough, huh? We'll see. Four thousand dollars. Okay, by definition, what is your surname? Uh, that is your last name, B. Final answer. You're ready to roll with answer B. Fine. Ooh, that's right. 
Eight more to go. You're booming along right now. Reminds me of the letter three. And then number three. So three is a number, of course. <laughs> I got I can't get overexcited because I'll mix up my sentences. Which of these newspaper features provides daily advice from people born under each of the zodiac signs? That would be C. Final answer. Horoscope. You think answer C is pretty tight, don't you? It is very tight, and I know it's right. <laughs> All right, here's one of the questions that took me out last night. Well, let's see how you do with this extra hard one. It's worth 16,000. We'll see how extra hard it is. The young of which of these animals are called larva? Uh, that's D, beetle. Final answer. Hey, that's a D. It looks pretty flighty, but doesn't it? And oh my my, that is correct. All right, now for the second one that took me out last night. You're doing great. If you can keep this up for one more question, you'll reach the second safe haven. Let's get to it. For 32,000. Which of these US state dates is most closely shaped like a rectangle? C. Colorado. Final answer. You think answer C is pretty tight, don't you? It is very tight, and I know it's right. Hey, you're right. <laughs> Third time. And yay, I got past 32, finally. Boy, you're one sharp kid. You've hit 32,000. Five more to go, and I still have two lifelines. Take a look at your next question. <laughs> For 64,000, I wish it was nighttime so I would go in the dark here. What was, oh, this question pissed me off a lot. What was Alain Gonzalez clinging to when he was rescued off the coast of Florida in 1999? B, inner tube, final answer. We'll see if it's it. We'll see. Hey, you're right. And it is. $64,000. It was only a free guess, so I didn't have to use a lifeline there. $64,000 in your account. No stopping you when it comes to these questions, huh, kid? Well, let's see how you do with this next one. It's worth $125,000. Okay, for $125,000. Four away from the million. In the 1974 book, The Chocolate War, the hero refuses to participate in what activity? Let's 50-50 this one. Let's phone a friend. Hudson again. <laughs> I'm sorry to trouble you, but could you page Hudson for us? We need a little help on a question. Let my love open the door. Let my love open the door. Hi, Hudson. Thanks for being a former friend. That music sounded like Let My Love Open the Door. In the 1974 book, The Chocolate War, the hero refuses to participate in what activity? The school fundraiser or the Pledge of Allegiance? Oh, yes. Good choice, Carl. Which one? We're very lucky you volunteered to be a photo friend. Okay. Thanks a lot. Oh, but of course, you're coming. I'm happy to show up. 
He seems pretty sure about the. He seems very sure about this, so I'll go with him. If he's wrong, <laughs> I'm gonna have to make him rethink his life choices. A final answer. Okay, is it right? Yes. I didn't think it would be Pledge of Allegiance. Oh man, I wasted all my lifelines. But let's see if these last three questions are ones I know. For $250,000, here we go. The parents of Secretary of State Colin Powell emigrated to the U.S. from what Caribbean country? You know what? I'm gonna call it a day. Call it a call it a game. I'm gonna walk. Final decision. Jamaica. Okay. If I get that question again in the next game, I'll pick that one. Okay, see you guys in a bit for the next game.